All right, so I'm just gonna go step by step. Step one, step two, we take this piece. And then step three, we add this to the ring. Just find the two dots and the two dots, and then line those up. Now we repeat that three more times. Uh, so we build three more of those, each one getting connected around. So build that and that. Just like this. Okay. Step number five is we're going to take four of these pieces, these longer sloped pieces, and we're just going to put each one so it's going around. This will be the base of our rocket ship. Just like that. Uh, step number six is a little tricky, but if you find the dots and you line uh, the dots up with the dots, it makes it a little bit easier to attach this on. You should hear a good snap and it should be all the way on. All right, step number seven, uh, we have two tiles. Those are the smooth ones and two plates. Those have the dots and they just go opposite of each other, just like that. So. You know, dots, tile, dots, tile, are smooth. All right, we're gonna continue building our rocket. So this kind of sets aside. We get this guy out, and then we're going to attach these in steps nine and 10. Again, if you look for the dots, and we look for the dots and you line them up, uh, it makes it a little bit easier. So we put those together just like that. Then we take our blue, we're now on step 11. Again, lining up the dots. You know, if you just try to put it on and move it, sometimes it doesn't go in. So line up the dots with each other and then push down and make sure that it is around on all sides. Step number 12, uh, we're gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna line up the dot with the slot right here. Dot with the slot, line those up. And then this one can be a little tricky, but if you look and you line up the slots here and those are lined up, it's a nice fit. Okay. Last thing, this just goes right on top. This might be the hardest thing to do, putting these on. But again, if we look for where the slot is in the black piece and the white, it's a good fit. It goes right down uh, the side here, just like that. Okay, and this is our rocket ship that's going to the moon. Now it's time to build our lander. So we're gonna start with this uh, larger, it looks like a 16 by eight piece. And we're gonna put these tiles going down the side. So we're gonna put uh, tiles going down. All right, and then we're going to take two of these bricks and they're just gonna go right in the middle here. So on the edge, right in the middle, or sorry. They do not go in the middle, they go here. And this one goes on the end edge right here, okay. So we've got these, we've got our edge piece. And then uh, step number 17 says that we are going to take this little gray uh, two by three and our last little blue. And this is gonna go right on the end here. So I'm gonna start with this piece here. And then I'm going to take the, my smooth long blue one and that goes right here. Okay, step number 18. Uh, we're taking these slope pieces and then they are going up right onto the edge. So right here, we've got these nice slopes going right on the edge here. Okay. Step number 19 has us doubling up our two by four bricks and then placing those right in here. So you got those bricks going there. And then we're gonna take the remaining four of these, I think it's uh, bright orange is the color, uh, bright orange slope pieces. So it should look like this. Okay. Uh, all right, now this is where it gets a little tricky just because it's kind of hard to, to see on the building instructions, but we're gonna take this piece. This is the lighter uh, of the two pieces that sort of look similar. It's the lighter one. Uh, it's also the one that when we put it in is going to be sticking up. We're going to find the middle and we're going to put it right here at the very end on the middle. Then we're going to take uh, another one of these two by three plates and we're going to just put it uh, right here. So it should be in the middle. You should have three pins on this side and three pins on that side. 
Step number 22 has us taking, these are our Technic bricks. These are the ones that have the hole in the middle. And we're gonna go ahead and put uh, those Technic bricks here. And you can see right through those, just like this. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. Uh, step 23 has us taking uh, out of these, it's the longest of them, and it's also the lighter color. So we're gonna take this one, and I think it's two, four, six, eight, twelve. Two by twelve. We're gonna take a darker two by two plate and put that on the end here. Step 25 has us taking our little slope piece, and then it has us taking uh, the smaller of the uh, smooth ones. This is a one by two tile that goes right here. Okay, then we take our other Technic bricks, our smaller ones that just have the one hole in the middle. These come right here. Just like this, step 27 has us taking, uh, this is the curved smooth one, and that's gonna go here, so it kinda like keeps curving up like this. And then on the end is where we're gonna take that piece that's got the dots hanging down, okay? Uh, last thing, we have two more of these smooth pieces, and these are just gonna go right here, and then this one is actually gonna hang off just a little bit, and you're gonna see that where it hangs off just a little bit here at the end is going to stick right onto the blue here. So if you line those up, just like that, and then push down, and you can see it ends right there. Okay, so we got this all pushed down and it looks just like this. Step number 30 has us taking these two pieces. Uh, they've got the two dots at the end and kind of just going up right here just to hold it all together. All right, now we're gonna make the crank for this. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna have, uh, this is a bar axle, so one end has a stop on it. And we're gonna hold that stop and then we're gonna push it through uh, this Technic piece. And so it should kind of look like this. You've got the stop and then we've got our piece like this, okay? Last, we take this little tan axle and we're gonna stick it right in like that. Okay, and then we're going to stick that through the top hole right here. And you'll see it should be able to kind of swing freely. All right, step 32, we're gonna take one of these gray, this is called a bush, and we're gonna put this uh, on the other end here. So I like to hold with my finger and then push this in like this while I'm holding on this side here. Okay, and now it won't fall out if we do this. It's not falling out. All right, and then we're going to take this longer tan piece and we're going to take the orange piece like this and do you see where the stop is on here we're going to push into the stop so the longer end goes into the orange so we only have this tiny end sticking out and then we're going to take this piece it's got um, the pin hole and the axle hole so the little cross and we're just going to stick this into the pin hole like this and then that axle cross end is going to go into the brown axle that's right here. And you'll see if we turn it, look at that, it's turning. Okay. Set that down right here. Uh, I'm gonna grab these two lift arms, these bright orange lift arms right here. And we're going to take a black pin, this little black piece. We're gonna stick it in uh, the end right here. And then we're going to push these together like this. So essentially it's gonna kinda of hold them together, although they swivel now, but we're gonna put something else in here. So step 36 is where we get this uh, interesting mechanical arm. So uh, if we're following all the steps in 36, the first thing it wants us to do is to take this piece, kinda of looks like a torch, uh, but it's got an axle and then this long pin right here. We are going to take our other tan pin and we're gonna stick those together like this. And then we are going to um, take this piece here, so it's got this little pin hole and then an axle perpendicular, and we're going to stick it in like this, okay? 
Now we're going to take our black uh, length for axle, the smaller black axle, and we're gonna put it in like this. And then we're going to take the other perpendicular pin to axle. And you wanna stick it in so that the pins are facing the same way. If you do like this, it's not gonna work. So make sure that your pins are facing the same way. Okay, it looks just like this. And then this goes in the opposite end. So you've got that black pin at this end, and then we're gonna push it through both of them like this, okay? All right, here's the fun part. So we're gonna take this, and we're going to attach this free end here into this tan end here. So you just put it in, and then this orange piece should rest like this. So you'll notice if I do this, it's gonna push forward. So that orange piece should be pushing forward like this. You know, you might accidentally put it on like this and then it's hanging off the side. Uh, that's not helping. So make sure that that orange here, and you can even test it out to make sure that it's working. All right, then we're just going to secure it. This is step 38. Uh, step 39, we start building the landing pad. So we, this piece goes on right here. Step 40, we start putting on um, the ends here. 41, we add these, so now we have our landing pad. And then we start uh, securing it and adding a little detail. So we're gonna add those little 90 degree L's to the side, it just kind of makes it look nicer. Provides no structural support. And then finally, we're gonna add uh, these modified tiles with a pin, and this is actually going to help uh, connect the rocket ship to our lander. So you'll see if we have a rocket ship, we set it down, it should just fit nicely right in here. This part it should be free moving with the platform and rocket ship on top. And you'll notice if you look down the middle, you can see that orange piece kind of coming through here. And so let's build our cylinders. And we're just gonna build all of these out, putting the little smooth tiles right on top. Yellow is standing for electricity. The white is representing uh, air that we would bring to the moon. You'd need to bring not just oxygen, but air also contains 70% nitrogen, so make sure that we're bringing some air to breathe. And then blue is water, and the green is representing food and other entertainment that you might bring. So what we can do to kind of simulate and have this be an Inspire model for you is to load up our rocket ship with water and food and air and energy and we've brought those resources to the moon. Our rocket ship comes down. Let's just pretend that uh, all of these resources are still inside. Come on, go inside. All right, so it lands and then we're able to extract our resources. This is kind of our offloading mechanism. All right, so that is the Inspire set for the Mission Moon FLL Junior kit, and I hope you were able to build it.